<laughs> Jim McCall reporting live. We are in Jersey City Heights. I can't give you the address right now, but it's on Congress Street. And we've got some doughs here. I thought this was fresh mozzarella. These are really popping. These are this is popping just like this pizza party. And I don't know how what we do with these doughs, but uh, these have been sitting one for a while. Uh, Josh, what do I do? Josh, where's Josh? Birthday boy Josh Larey is here. Came all the way down from upstairs. Yes. Uh, Josh, this is your pizza party. What am I supposed to do with this? Tell me what's going on. Put down the curacao for a moment. And just help us record. We've got we've got orange curacao. Is there any other curacao? Blue. No, there's blue curacao. Yes, no, don't there get the blue. Is. Get the orange. Get the orange. Uh, Le Pierre Fernand is a good brand. It just happens over ice. You don't need to make a cocktail with it. You can dip it's good in cocktails. Cocktail. <laughs> like uh, whatever you do, don't buy triple sec. If you're doing triple sec, just you're doing it wrong. Don't get the stuff that's actually cold. This is ridiculous. This is <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're supposed to put flour on just your hand. The dough, what I want the dough to do. The more you work it, you got to work the dough. The dough is gonna be. This is this show is going to go on our anti-work leader and complain that I was mistreating it, and it's going to start a union. But for now, you got to you got to toss the dough. Whoa, shit. Okay, don't toss waste the dough. dough. You gotta toss the do Should I be folding it in? No, no you got to. That's working against itself. I've never made pizza before, but you got to toss the dough to Josh. Josh knows what he's doing. I'm going to toss the dough to Josh. Here, whoa, whoa, okay. Stop. All right, all right. So we're just going to try and toss the dough. As Yuri would say, making love to the camera. So this is a <laughs> this is a donut of sorts. You ruined it. I don't know what I'm doing here. Okay, <laughs> we're just gonna ball up. We're just gonna we're ballers here. Ballers here in the heights, and we are just gonna smack that dough. I don't know. How do you do this? I, you know, I regret I used to complain the slice of pizza is going up, but these men are artisans. Men and women that are making pizza, they're artisans. They they know what they're doing. It's hard, 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 be less chaotic. There's Marie with the, the bike. She knows. She knows. Okay. All right. So, all right, we're just stretching this out here. This is, I don't know what I'm doing here. And we're just gonna we're just gonna try to do what we can here. There is just too much dough. I, you can't pull it out. This is ridiculous. We're running out of here. What is this? I don't. Maybe we just. Start over. I, I don't want to use a new one though. This is too much. Okay. Can we just uh, can we make a stromboli? Can I can I salvage this? Massage. The make dough. a calzone or something. Jen here. Excellent cookie crafting abilities and pizza. She made one of the better pizzas we had here. Uh, just tell me. Just massage the dough. Yeah. Just do some Moonlight Alley Spa action on this dough. Excellent, just good CP value if you're down in Hoboken. Alley Spa just opened up on 5th Street. Excellent there. It's, I think it's like 50. I was in there for 60 minutes, and I thought it was 75, honestly. And I almost overpaid, and the Lao Ban was like, sir, it was only 60 minutes. And I said, unbelievable. And I just tipped more because that was amazing. It was like going into a time machine. So the dough is just coming out here. It's it's working. Thank you, Jen. This is great. This is the dough. It's it's slow. It's, you know, but it's here. It's just experiencing. It's just like happy to be here in the backyard. And it's just like, just don't get another hole in me. Just, let's, okay. So this is, we're, we're getting there. This is, we're going to, we're going to clean this up in post. Uh, this is just, we're going to clip this down. It'll just be like, it's like 10 seconds. But uh, okay. So I'm not going to try and do anything more there. Bigger. Let's get some oil. Oh, it's not big enough. That is not nearly big enough. Get a bottle and roll it out. Where is the curacao? No, the curacao is square. We're using the curacao. It's square. It's square, but the curacao is oh perfect. The curacao not only is it excellent to drink, excellent for the pizza. This is perfect. And now it's like pizza is usually Italian. This is making it a little French. Don't yeah, lick that bottle. Don't. Oh, excellent. Okay, it's rolled out. That's that's pretty good. Bigger. It's Ten inches? Bigger. bigger. It's it's not the size that matters, Marie. It's it how does. you roll the dough. It's <laughs> it's we're, we're at it. We need more flour here. This is a horrible episode. I wish I prepared for this. As you could, if this was, but that's how you know it's live, folks, because we don't know what the hell we're doing here. Okay, so just keep going. Keep going. Keep going. The baby is, oh, excellent. Dan Munt is such a great guy with children. Okay, here we go. Sika Industries, if you have leaks in your roof, probably get that fixed, but Sika can probably do something for that. I don't know. Okay, here we go. They also make great Yeti coolers. All right, is this big enough? I, that's, you know, you can move it this way. Okay, we'll move it this way. Up, up that way, that way. Up that way, okay. Just get it out there. Okay, that's, we're stopping there. All right, now. Some oil. We just get a little oil on here. Probably too much oil. We're gonna start with some truffled cheese here, and I want to go in a different direction without the tomato sauce. 
So we're just gonna do some truffle cheese. There's a there's a smorgasbord of toppings. But I know that's not too much. That's Swedish. Too much cheese. There's some lactose intolerance. No, 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 not the truffle. Too much truffle. Too much cheese. of the truffle cheese. So we're gonna cut it with some goat cheese. We've got goat cheese over here. Let's swing the camera around there. The goat cheese. <laughs> I did just, it. Just a little bit of goat cheese. Just smuggle the goat cheese in there. Goat cheese is a very popular item here at the pizza making in the Heights today. And we're gonna do a little bit of bacon. A little bit of bacon. We'll just rip off the bacon pieces right there. This is gonna be someone else's problem when they're eating this. Do we have honey? Actually, guys, do we have honey for the pizza? Yeah, it's on the bottom. There is some honey. We're gonna add some honey with the truffle. I think that would be lovely. No, we're gonna do that right now. We're gonna heat up that honey. Okay, let's get some of that honey. It's it's gone. The honey's gone. I saw bees. There's oh it's warming. We're warming up that honey. Let's get some apple while we're at it. A little bit of apple there. Big fan of unconventional pizzas, you know, whatever weird flavors you want to have here. We've got we've got pineapple here, but we're not gonna use pineapple today. Jeremy. Yes. How's that dough coming? The dough is as big as it needs to be. The dough's not getting any bigger, but it's also not getting any smaller, so I'm just gonna call it even. We're gonna stop right here. And this is this is some weird what is this stuff? No, I think that's just pork. That's pork. Ground Greek ground beef, it's pork. Let's get some sun-dried tomatoes over here. Big fan. If, again, if you're in Hoboken, if you're uptown, MP Biancamanos. By far the best roast beef mozzarella sandwich in Hoboken. Better than Fiore's? Better than Fiore's. Now, Fiore's is a good sandwich, but M&P's, you know, is a unique experience in Hoboken. And just go there. Fiore's is going to be around for years to come. They've got a staff. M&P's is a mom and pop shop. Uh, shout out to um, the son, Peter Pumiakamano. He does the Pulse with Peter B, which you might have seen on the Hoboken Facebook group. Goes around town with a camera. Um, where I hope to be in many years, but I'm not there yet. Okay, we've got some sun-dried tomato. Anyway, his parents make excellent sandwiches. Highly recommend. Enough for two, three meals, easy. And I think that's it. We're gonna we're gonna stop here while we're ahead. Uh, so we got some we got some green apples here. We have some dough that's not nearly big enough. Some white truffle cheese, some goat cheese, some bacon. And I mentioned the apples and the sun-dried tomatoes. Let's get this in the oven if we can. Oh, and the honey. This it's, is it's, excellent. It's still, yeah, wait, yeah. Okay. John's got the honey here. If you can give us a, a little a little bit of a spritz here, a little bit of a. We'll, we'll come back to the honey. Uh, the honey's coming back here. Okay, so we're going to get this over here. Let's, uh, John, I don't mean to get you out of the way here, but please. You can, you can, you can just get it in there. Just, this is, we're just right in here. Just, yes. This is where it's going to go wrong, folks. Put it in. Put it in. Put it in. Let's get an expert here. Josh Larea. This is not his first pizza. Look at this. Look at this action here. If we can just get this. Thank you. Okay, and it's going in there. And it's, uh, now we're just going to keep this in there for how long, Josh? Um, maybe like 30 seconds and then you're going to rotate it. Maybe like 30 seconds and you're going to rotate it. So we don't want it in there too long. But And that's the, that's the evidence of my failures here. Really, as, as, as well as there's so many other things. But that specifically is on camera right now. And it's, uh, is that in far enough? Let's get in there close. Now, uh, what we're running off here, a Blue Rhino. That's my favorite brand of gas. A lot of people say the, the gas, you don't really taste it. But I think with Blue Rhino, you're really going to taste it in the crust. You really want that Blue Rhino crust. Uh, shout out to our sponsors here at Blue Rhino Industries. And Sika, if I mention Sika, if you've got reef, roofy leaks, leaky roofs? I don't know. <laughs> roofy leaks, Sika's, Sika's, and they, again, are the coolers. They make great coolers. Okay, so we are, we're cooking here, literally. And this might be the most action we've had on Jay McCullough Reporting Live recently. Um, so I'm very excited about this episode. Are we coming up on 30 seconds, Josh? Pay no mind to that pre-shredded mozzarella cheese from Kirkland. I didn't buy that. We wouldn't be caught dead with that on Jay McCullough Reporting Live. We shred our own cheese. And speaking of Costco, the uh, doggy dental chews. Apparently, if your dog isn't picky, um, save a lot of money. Don't get the greenies. Those are too expensive. And we're coming up on uh, how many minutes here? I don't know. I think, John, you the number of pizzas coming out of this thing that I burned. We're, we're working with the uni pizza oven here. This is a, okay. a new purchase for, for the Heights. It was John's, uh, John's birthday, John's purchase, uh, John's birthday <laughs> gift. Who actually purchased this wonderful device? It was a birthday gift. It was purchased for who? For John. Okay, I think, I think we're almost done here. No, no, not yet. Not yet, not yet, says Josh. He knows, he knows what's going on. It's good to have an expert working, working the grill when you're, when you're making pizza. Grill oven, it's a, it's gas powered. That's for damn sure. Uh, let's let's get a shot at it. This thing is is larger than you might expect here. This is actually quite a device. You're, you're not going to put this inside, probably. Probably doesn't go inside. It's more of an outdoor pizza oven. Correct. 
Alternatively, you can just get your own Weber grill and some insulation and make your own. Um, carbon monoxide emissions, you're gonna watch out for that as well. And we're, we're coming up here. Now, if we were uh, Dezinos or some other local establishment, we'd uh, slap this in a box and charge 1950 for it. But here, this is, uh, this is just free friendships. And it's coming out. Are we almost done here? Um, that's looking good. That's, that's got a nice, let's get the underskirt here. Great underskirt shot on that pizza. You want, you want the underskirt? That's, that's, that's good, that's good. Okay. Do you think, are you good? I'm satisfied with this. All right, let's, let's get it over here. I mean, we got some other more successful pizzas here and we're just gonna slide these slightly over to the left. I'll take this one from you. Over to the left and Josh is gonna bring this pizza out. And as you can see, again, totally unprepared, everything burned, but we'll, we'll, uh, we'll check this out here. We're just gonna give it a few slices here. Is the honey ready actually? John was on honey duty. Let's try and get this. And if you could just keep the, the little character's face out of this footage so that we don't have to edit that. Let's just get some, again, we still don't have any honey here. It's just not coming along here. Everyone's first piece. Just a, a mist, you're just gonna want the scent of the honey. Just the scent of the honey, just the, just so you smell it. There's just some, some light notes on the honey there. There it comes. And there, uh, comes there the now it's coming. Now the honey's coming. The, this honey waits for no one. First. Everybody waits for the honey. <laughs> Get your honey while you can, because you know the bees are dying. And it's, it's a shame, really. We don't like to talk about climate change because it's very depressing, but just a smidge of honey on that one piece of apple, that's enough. Okay. And we're just going to call this pizza a hint of honey. We're going to put that on the menu as a hint of honey. All right. Great knife. I got to get one of these at home. Cut it in a grid is the, uh, is the request from... Somebody's just getting dough here. I, I'm sorry. Who's One person gets a hint of honey. And uh, there we go. I'm just going to try this little piece here and just dab it in that hint of honey. <laughs> it's, uh, we've got all the components here. It's hot. It's hot. It's a hot pizza. It's good. It's good. Reporting live with the uni. Flowers still covered with flowers. Thank you. Bye-bye.